Hi, my name is Corey Watson. I'm an ML engineer at Qualcomm, uh, working on Qualcomm AI Hub. Uh, I'm here at Microsoft Build, and my demo today is going to take you from grabbing a model from our set of 100 plus models uh, in Qualcomm AI Hub and deploying it on the edge in about five minutes. So we're gonna click on compute here. So we've got object detection, segmentation, super resolution, uh, stable diffusion, that kind of thing. In this case, let's take a look at object detection. So I'm gonna search for object detector models, right? Uh, as you can see, we have about 10 models that are pre-validated for object detection, right? I'm gonna scroll down to the bottom here and choose YOLO V8 detection. That's what we'll focus on today. In this demo, we're gonna be using Onyx Runtime, which runs the model at about six and a half milliseconds. Right. So how am I actually gonna deploy this model? Um, well, I'll just scroll down and click on the model repository. If I scroll down and look at the readme, uh, it, there's pretty much one simple instruction to get set up and just install our package via PIP. Uh, so I have my uh, QAI hub models package installed already on this computer. So let's jump into some code and take a look at uh, what this looks like. All right, so let's jump into to the actual code portion of the demo. So the first thing I'm gonna do here is import YOLO V8 from the PIP package we just installed. As you can see, I'm importing a model, which is a PyTorch model, and I'm importing an associated app, which is a wrapper around the model that lets me load the images from disk process them to get ready to run through the model and then save them back to disk uh, once I'm done running the model. So the first thing I'm gonna do is call dot free or from pre-trained on the model, right? That will load the model into PyTorch in my Python environment. Next thing I'm gonna do is use our free cloud service to compile and submit the model uh, for profiling in the cloud. So go ahead and hit continue here. And I'm compiling it remotely. Right, so I've uploaded a trace PyTorch model and out comes an Onyx model I can download. So let's say you don't have an Xelite yet, but you wanna see how fast your model could run. Um, in this case, I've already run it a couple minutes ago. I can see that on the Xelite, um, it runs in about six and a half milliseconds. And it runs entirely on the NPU. As you can see, I've downloaded the Onyx model here. Right? The next step is to just go ahead and run it. So I'm gonna create an Onyx inference session, tell it to use the NPU, and call session.run with my input image. The first thing we do is compile the model to run on device. That's only done one time, the first time you run it. And the actual time it took to run the model was about seven and a half milliseconds, or 758 microseconds. Next thing I'll do is go ahead and continue and save the output to disk. I could take a look at the output here. As you can see, we've drawn boxes around a couple of different things in this image, including my dog, Pepper. So she's, she's right there and she's very cute. As you can see, it took me about five minutes to go from looking at the models on, on the web to getting it running on my device. Uh, this is how easy it is to get going with Qualcomm hardware. Just to recap, we went from grabbing a model from our catalog and getting it to run on an Xelite in about five minutes. Uh, thanks so much for watching, and we hope that you check us out on GitHub, um, AI Hub Models, or at aihub.qualcom.com. Thanks.